Yo, what's good everybody? Hope that you guys are having a super blessed day and welcome back to Sharp Sports. And today on Sharp Sports, I am happy to announce that today's episode is sponsored by Squarespace. So on this channel, I have literally covered hundreds of highlight tapes from players all across the country from every single position. However, I've been seeing you guys in the comments section and you've been wondering if I have my own high school highlights that I can show you guys. I actually made a video on my high school highlights for my 10,000 subscriber special, but we've clearly grown a little bit bigger than that, so I thought I'd make another video on them. So with that being said, today you get to look at what the boy Marcus Sharp was looking like back in high school. So I was a class of 2014 wide receiver. My senior year, I was 6'2", 195 pounds, ran a 4.740, a 4.3 second shuttle, and had a 37 inch vertical. Which, when I compare it to a lot of these receivers that I have covered, I would say I stack up pretty nicely. Now, just for some context, my team was a heavy, and when I say heavy, I mean heavily operated off the run game. So here are my stats. My senior year, I had 20 receptions for 337 yards and two touchdowns. Now that may not sound that impressive, but when I tell you I was averaging 16 and a half yards a catch, you can see I was clearly moving the chain. My senior year, I was also second team all DVO, which stands for Desert Valley League, which was the league that my high school played in. All right, now before we get into my highlights, let me tell you of all of the amazing features that you have at your disposal through Squarespace. Whoa. Oh, there you are. From websites and online stores to marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is your one-stop shop to not only build a very nice website, but also help you run your business. As you guys can see behind me, there are a ton of website template options to build whatever website you need. Whether it's an online store or a photo gallery, or you just simply have your own personal blog, Squarespace has a template for whatever you need. Oh yeah, and speaking of blogs, Squarespace has a fully integrated commenting system, letting anybody who access to your website not only comment but like and reply to whatever blog post that you post on your website oh yeah and for all my coaches and trainers out there i know you're gonna like this one squarespace has their own appointment scheduling system meaning that you don't have to keep on calling your clients or trainees making sure that they're still coming no they can simply make an appointment or cancel an appointment on your website so you never have to worry about oh is susie coming for their two o'clock training no Squarespace has you covered there too. So guys, I don't know what you're waiting for. Go to squarespace.com to go start your free trial. And when you're ready to launch your website, go to squarespace.com slash sharp sports to save 10% off of your first website or domain name. Again, go to squarespace.com slash sharp sports to save 10% off of your first purchase of a website or domain name. And again, I want to thank Squarespace for sponsoring this video. All right, now let's head back to the studio. Oh. All right, and we're back. All right, so for all of you guys who are wondering what the boy Sharp was looking like in high school, it's about time to find out. So with that being said, let's take a look at my high school highlights. Three, two, one. Psh. All right, let's go back in time a little bit and see what your boy was looking like in high school. Like, oh. So yeah, like I said, we had, obviously we had a stud of a running back, so it made sense why we were, wait, I have to give you guys context. This is the first time I actually have the context of everything that was going on. Okay, so this is the second game of the season. First game of the season, I had zero passes thrown to me, zero catches, obviously, if I had no one throwing it to me. So I was trying to ball out in this second game. So as you guys can see, take the slant, cross the middle, get off me, little boy. Screw give me your ankles. My boy Garrett right here comes through, gets the clean double block, and then we down the sideline. Let's go. We making something out of nothing. Let's get it. This was in the playoffs, which our coach finally decided. He, I know I'm gonna pause this a lot just because like I can actually give you guys like some context of what was going on. So this is a playoff game. This is my the last game I ever played in my high school career. This was the first post my coach ever threw to me in my four years of being there. I'm 6'2", almost 200 pounds. First time they threw it to me, so. And then as you can see, we go up top, get behind the defense, and we take it that. I was so bad because I almost scored. He brought me down on the one yard line. I was, I was not feeling that. So on this play, my, my bread and butter route was a slant. I don't know how my quarterback got the ball into that gap, but we made it happen. Also, from because this is this this is this, this is a teaching tape. This was probably one of the worst run routes ever. Like our, our receiver coach just didn't ever really like help us at all. Like I learned so much once I got to college, but this is a horrible slant route. I should have cut that off way way sharper. But hey, you know we out here making plays. All right, this is what I always say when you need when you need to help your quarterback out because this was I was just meant to just run a fade on this play, but I see my quarterback is in, is in trouble. Break the route off short, come back, make him a big make a big target for your quarterback, and then come make the play. Let's go. 
Again, we eating on these slants. We eating on these slants. Okay. Again, context. This is our rival game my senior year. The play before this, they literally knocked out one of our one of our slot receivers. Like, so obviously emotions are high because like you obviously our rival injured one of our players. So we I, I was so hyped for this play. And this this was my favorite play. It was a jailbreak screen. Take one hard step up, come back to the quarterback. We taking that, catch it with your hands out in front of you, and then we gone. Let's go. We dipping on them. And then actually funny enough, as you can see, I get pushed over here. Our team's basketball coach was over here, and I didn't realize it at the time, but I kind of knocked him over, and he was a little bit hurt after the play. Come back. Bob, we taking that. Let's go. Like, my whole my whole game was just possession receiver. Like, just get the ball in my hands, and I'm going to move the chains. I thought we would have used me more in the red zone, but hey, it's all good. Little quick screen. Get up field, move the chains. You know, some light. Hey, I mean, every time I look at my highlights, I was like, okay, I could actually play. Like, because I always, I always second guess myself in high school just because, like, we never threw the ball enough to, like, I didn't know if I was an actual good receiver. Your, your boy could actually play a little bit. Okay, this, this, play, this play is super funny. Okay, again. Because uh, I, I can critique this now. If if you're gonna run a stop route, this is a clear giveaway that you're about to you're about to break. It, I was running, and then as soon as I about to break, I, my whole chest stood up, and you can clearly see I'm about to make a move somewhere right here. If you're running any type of stop slant, stay as low as possible. Make every single route look exactly the same. That's how you see these receivers get so much separation because the corner literally has no idea where they're going. But boom, break down a little bit, catch the ball, cut outside. Cause you give me your ankles, little boy. <laughs> Oh, but I was laughing at that play too. I was like, yo, I actually got him right there. Again, these slants. We was eating out here with these slants, man. We were picking up like 15 yards a pop. Snag route, find a soft spot on the defense. Hey, we just moving the chain. I'm pretty sure like 80 or 90% of my catches were converting first downs. Hey, all my receivers, you just got to make yourself a big target for your quarterback to find you. Catching, catching a little. I, I don't know why they didn't call that a touchdown that I was in the end zone, but hey, it's all good. Again, just finding the soft spot of the defense, making yourself available. Joe Britt, little screen action. Kind of got blown up, but hey, you know what? We're still making plays. That screen was my favorite play, but we didn't always block it the way I wanted it to, because man, there were some times where we could have really taken off. Okay. <laughs> okay, so this, this is again a versus, versus our rival. I put this as my first block, just because like when, when it comes back into frame, it looks like I blew this guy up right here. But honestly, we didn't see each other until the last second, we just ran into each other. We were both hurting after this play, because we just ran into each other full speed. Oh, man. And then my receiver got kind of blown up right there, too. Oh, my receiver. Hey, you don't have to knock him to the ground. You just have to get in. The, well, on that play, I knocked him down, but you just have to get him out of the way. Our running back was a beast. Nice little cutback. I, I, now that I look back at it, some of these some of these blocks were so were so except for this one. This is like my only good block. Like, solid, solid block all season. Just drove homeboy out of the play. He had no chance at all. Okay, this dude was a total punk, bruh. He, I, I forget his name. He ended up going to Washington. This dude, oh my gosh, man. He, he like, he was just a dirty player. That, that's all, that's all I could say. Ha! <laughs> Making the, making the block out there, just hold him up. Again, you don't have to knock you don't have to knock him down every time. You just have to get in the way. You just have to be an effective blocker. All my receivers out there, you don't have to be uh, basically a, another offensive tackle. You just have to go out there and get in front of the guy.
And for those of you guys who are wondering, that is what I was looking like my senior year of high school. I always like coming back and watching my highlights. I don't really watch them. I, I honestly, I haven't watched them since the last time I made that, that highlight video, but I just like watching it because I always like wondered like, was I actually good at playing football? But like, now that I've seen a ton of these high school receivers who are like four and five star guys, I'm not saying I would have been a four or five star guy, but I could have very easily been a two star receiver at if they had, if I was in a more pass happy offense, because. I mean, I wasn't the fastest guy out there, but I was a possession receiver. I could move the chains. And if you threw the ball up, I was coming down with it. So, hey, I, I would say I was pretty nice. But I want to hear from you guys. What did you guys think about highlights? Be sure to comment it down below. All right, you guys, with all that being said, hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to leave this video a like. For my highlights, could we get this video to a thousand likes? I would really appreciate that. So let's get this video to a thousand likes because that lets me know that you guys enjoyed this video. Also, don't forget to comment down below which play you guys want to see me cover next because that lets me know you guys want me to watch so we can help grow this channel. And also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn your notifications so you guys can stay on top of all the videos that I am a coming out with. Hey, yeah. All right, you guys, with all that being said, hope that you guys will have a super, super blessed rest of your day. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Ciao.